Rub up your engines! Now, if you're driving 55, 60, you hit the brakes hard, and your steering wheel starts shaking, that normally means your front brake rotors are warped. So when you hit them, they're going in and out a little bit at a time, that makes the steering wheel shake. And conversely, if you hit your brakes going 60, and the brake pedal starts pulsating, that generally means the back rotors are worn. Now, in this case, it's the front wheel. You hit the brakes at about 60, the front steering wheel shakes. So we're gonna check the front ones first. Now, before we pull the wheel off, we're gonna check the suspension, because if your tie rods or ball joints are worn, and it really wobbles, you hit the brakes, that can make the steering shake too. So, we'll grab it at nine and three, no play there, and at 12 and six. No play there, so there's nothing really worn here. We'll do the rotors first. Now if you want, you can actually measure this with the vernier caliper, but I can feel that it's all warped, that it's not even anymore. So we're gonna take off the rotors, put on new rotors and pads. Now we're gonna turn the wheel all to the right so we can access the bolts better. We can take off the bottom bolt here. Ah! That comes off, then the whole thing flips up and you can slide it away. Then there's two bolts inside, one on the top, one on the bottom. We take those off to get the whole caliper assembly off. As you can see, they just come right off. Ah! The bottom one, then the top one. And the top one doesn't have room for my air impact, so I got a giant bar and a socket, and I'm taking that one off uh, by hand because there's not enough working room for my wrench. But there's plenty of room for this, it just takes more time. Then once you remove that bolt, the whole assembly will come off. Off it comes. This is supposed to slip off, but it's so old and rusty. It is 21 years old. We're gonna hit this with a sledgehammer. We're throwing it away anyway. Get a big hammer, give it a few whacks. Off it comes. Then you put new rotors on, and here's a trick. Now the factory rotors, they always work fine, but they're a lot more expensive. You don't wanna buy the absolute cheapest rotors you can get your hands on, cause a lot of times they'll warp. So you might wanna look at good mid-priced ones like this. You can see it's got all the vent holes and everything in it. Solid steel. You don't want to get a cheap one that maybe doesn't have the vents, but you don't have to buy the factory ones. These cost about three quarters of what the factory ones do and they work perfectly fine. And while you're at it, get some brake clean. They coat these things with an anti-rusting coating. You want to get it off. So you want to spray both sides to get all that off. Then wipe any residue off. Then slide the new rotor on, fits right on. Then get your brake caliper bracket, put it over the holes, and get the bolts that hold it in place. You gotta wiggle them around a little. You do the bottom one, make sure they're started. Then you can get them nice and tight with an extension bar and a socket. You don't want them coming loose, you want them nice and tight. Now before you put the caliper on, you want to squeeze it back in. You squeeze like mad, then it goes in. Then you get your brake pads, Get some brake and caliper grease and put a little on the top where it binds and the bottom and slide them in here. You gotta kinda twist them, then they snap in place. There's one, then we snap this one in on the inside. Then it just snaps right on. Then that slides right over. And you bolt it back on. Then turn the wheel and put the tire back on. And this particular car is a fancy wheel, so don't forget the spacer. The spacer goes inside here, tap it in, then put the wheel on. And of course, do the other side. So we'll pull it here. No play in here. No play. So the tie rods and ball joints are okay. Now we'll just pull off this side, do the brakes on this side. It's the same exact process as the other side. Like that off, get the big whacker. This one's on harder. Turn it a little. There, stupid thing's off. Then put the new rotor on and the caliper brackets, get it nice and tight, then put the brake pads on, remember to lube the lips, and then slide it on at an angle, then push it in place. And remember to squeeze the caliper back in, now it's back in its hole. Now this pin is sticking a little down here, so we'll hit it. Sometimes they will stick. Then bolt the bottom on, line up the wheel studs, nice and tight. But before you start driving, pump the brakes now. They'll go all the way to the floor till you pump them a few times. 
now they're nice and hard. When you squeeze the calipers, that loses pressure, so you gotta pump it up. Now they're nice and stiff. So the next time your car's steering wheel starts shaking, when you're braking at higher speeds, now you know how to replace the rotors and check the front end for any problems. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.